happening to politics. Well, Anaya, um, Keir Starmer must be holding his head in his hands right now. He's got the Conservative Party on the ropes uh, with uh, the, the sleaze row involving the ex-minister Owen Paterson. And Boris Johnson and his party are all over the place. And now, meanwhile, he's, he's just had a, a, one of his former um, MPs who was withdrawn the whip, uh, Claudia Webb, convicted. Uh, she's determined to st cling on as MP, but of course that, that's not necessarily a given. But even if she goes, then we could have uh, Keith Vaz brought back into the, uh, into the fold as a, as a candidate standing for Labour. He must be in absolute despair over this. <laughs> David, you're the Sun on Sunday political editor. I mean, is this a particularly surprising week? Or have you seen anything like this before where there's so many uh, political scandals making up in relation to individuals? I think you have to wind the clock back to before I was even a political correspondent. Back in the 90s, uh, the early 90s in the John Major government when there was sleaze everywhere, um, it seems to come in a, in a rush. I think then the, the, the problem back in the 90s was that uh, John Major had this back to basics campaign where he was telling us how to live our yeah. lives as good family members. And of course, yeah. half his cabinet weren't doing that at the time. <laughs> and it just so happens now we're having a run of, uh, of, of, of stories about, about uh, sle of a sleazy nature. We had the Matt Hancock uh, debacle mm. where he was uh, caught during the COVID kissing yeah. his, uh, his, his lover. And now, of course, yeah, of course. You, you've got Claudia Webb and Owen Patterson. It just doesn't end. No, there's a, there's a, I won't mention it because it's not actually your newspaper, but which of course is, is some would say, you know, the best. But there we go. Uh, it was another one. Bless yeah, you. Bless there me. you go. You see, just one mention of Keith Baz, and you're, you're allergic to Keith Baz. Anyway, uh, aren't we all in a way? Um, no, but uh, but uh, yeah, if you open up one one famous newspaper today, what you see is one one page the Owen you know, Patterson thing, the, the the sleaze allegations. Then you see a little nib of Claudia Webb. Then you see a picture of Keith Vaz, and you just. Think Thing. goodness me, we might as well just knock the place down and start again, don't you? I mean, look, is there any realistic way that you think that Keith Vaz could win that, that local election? Will he stand? Well, there is a realistic way that that can happen, Chris. And what, 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 what can actually happen here is that... Uh, Patrick, sorry. Um, right. what, what can happen here is that uh, you can have... Um, you, first of all, you've got to get rid of Claudia Webb. So for that to happen, um, she... There, there needs to be a, a, a recall motion. That needs 10% of the population to say... They don't want her as an MP, and that will trigger a by-election. The mm. question then is whether Keith Baz will stand. Now, he's dismissing this as tittle-tattle, or people close to him are. But he is known to have been going around uh, delivering leaflets. Not election leaflets, but leaflets helping the community. He is, of course, chairman of the local party in Leicestershire East, in Leicester East. So he could then, of course, um, uh, st stand uh, as a candidate if he was mm. so selected. Uh, can uh, the lead, lead, the leader block him? Probably not under the existing rules. If the no. party wants to, him to stand, then um, then there's a good chance that he will stand. Uh, also, there's also rumours swirling around that he might get his daughter to stand. So it will be daughter of Vaz, if not Keith Vaz himself. The question is, wow. will people vote for them? Well, will people yeah. vote for them? The, don't forget the, the, the majority in Leicester East was reduced from 22,000 to 6,000 at the last election. What, what Keir Starmer mm. really needs in there, if he's going to win that seat, is a good candidate who can win. But then a lot of people in, uh, in Leicester East support Keith Vaz. They like him. He's got a big constituency of support in there for some reason. And um, uh, yeah. so he, he would see himself as a possible contender.